They are feared, often misunderstood, and with warmer weather, more visible. Yes, rattlesnakes are making their seasonal return. But how much of what we think we know about these reptiles is actually true? New tonight, CBS 8's Brian White is working for you to separate fact from fiction. Out here on the trails in Alpine, it's prime time for hikers and rattlesnakes. But how much of what we've heard about them is actually true? I'm here with a snake wrangler who's heard it all, and he's setting the record straight. Meet Tom Minga, a rattlesnake specialist who's handled these reptiles for over six decades. He says this is the biggest misconception. That they'll chase you down, go after you, it's totally untrue. You're as big as a telephone pole to them. Turns out rattlesnakes are not out to get you, they're actually scared of you and would rather slither away. Leave it alone, don't mess with it. A lot of people get bit messing with them. Myth, rattlesnakes only come out during the day. Fact, they're active at night too, especially on warm evenings. They definitely are out at night. Once it gets 75 degrees, they, they operate at night. They're well equipped to do so. Another myth, that rattlesnakes can bite you and you won't know it. But the fact is you will because they are very painful. It's also been said that baby rattlesnakes are more dangerous. Not true, according to Minga, though they can still bite. No way. I'd rather get bit by one with a little tiny head like that than one with a big old head. And while the rattle is their trademark warning, don't count on it, especially from the younger ones. You can't hear the baby rattle. They're born with one segment. Every time they shed their skin, they grow another one. And until they get at least two or three, you can't hear them. Hikers I talk to say a little awareness goes a long way. It's an amazing encounter when you see them and stay far enough away to let them do their thing and then just kind of keep moving. Tom says stay on trails, keep your dog leashed, and always watch where you step. If you respect their space, they'll usually return the favor. Working for you, Brian White, CBS 8. Thanks, Brian. And remember, if there's something you'd like us to look into, an issue happening in your community, perhaps email us at workingforyou at cbsa.com.